Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have a Drop Zone Commander Battle Report for you today. 1,500 points. United Colonies of Mankind versus the Scourge. Uh, we are playing Targets of Opportunity. Um, 1,500 points. So uh, the, the UCM will be coming on from that board edge with one objective there in their deployment zone. And three across the center. And the Scourge will be coming on from this edge with one in this building in their deployment zone. That is the table. We will be right back with armies. First up, we have the United Colonies of Mankind half. Josh is going to walk us down his forces. So for my field command battle group, I have a Kodiak with a captain in it. I have uh, four Wolverine A's. Then for my first armored group, I have three Sabres in a Condor with missile pods and two Longbows in Raven B's with missile pods. Then for my second armored formation, I have two squads of three Katanas in Condors with missile pods. Then for my first Legionnaire Corps, I have uh, two squads of two Legionnaires in Raven A's. For my second Legionnaire Corps, I have a squad of three Legionnaires in a Bear APC, and they're sharing a Condor with missile pods with a Legionnaire Mortar team that are also in a Bear APC. Then for my final battle group, my Air Wing, I have two individual Archangels. All right, and I didn't hear you mention these rapiers. Are they attached to this oh, about this infantry group? They are attached to that Legionnaire Corps, right. and they are in a condor with missile pods as well. All righty, so there it is. You see him. Next up, we have the Scourge Invasion Swarm uh, for my HQ units. I have four Minders and an Intruder B, and a Desolator with a level five commander. Uh, my first infantry group is two stands of two warriors with uh, Intruder Alphas. Uh, my first uh, main group has three. Um, hunters, sorry it's been a while, uh, with a Marauder and they're rolling with three Ravagers that have a Harbinger Assault Dropship. It does not have the uh, Nose AA Cannon, couldn't afford it this time. My Scourge Invasion host is two uh, Slayer Heavy Tanks and they are mounted in a Marauder as well. I've got a uh, Occupation Patrol of two groups of four Prowlers which are in uh, Intruders. And then my second infantry group is two squads of three Warrior Horde. Uh, they are an Invader, APCs, and a Marauder. And their support option is a trio of um, Reapers with a Marauder. So you've seen the armies, and you've seen the table. We will be back following turn one. Turn one comes to an end. Uh, the Scourge 1 initiative let the UCM go first. The UCM did not get either one of their flyers. Uh, they moved the Katana blocks on here and here and pop smoke and then brought on the sabers behind the katanas here for cover. Uh, that's what the condor walls are here. Uh, dropped the infantry and the mortarmen in this building and shot the uh, Raven A teams up to this center building. Behind this building you got the rapiers and the uh, longbows and then the Kodiak there you can see him peeking around the corner. Um, the Scourge responded by dropping infantry here. They came in after the condors had shelled four points out of the building. Um, the miners and uh, their intruders stayed here. We moved the um, reapers out here in the street and the predator or predators, the hunters, uh, into the street here. Uh, we have the uh, wa AA walkers here defending the center along with the desolator. And then we brought the slayers in on this flank along with the prowlers who shot up 24 inches. The light infantry are in the two intruders here in the center waiting to spring towards the center of the table. So that is turn one. Zero to zero at this point. We will be back following turn two. Turn two has come to an end. Uh, the UCM won first activation. Searched here and found nothing. Uh, they got their infantry out and moved them here, but they left the forward air controllers in the form of the mortarmen in the building. The building took some damage over the course of the turn. Um, took fire from one of the slayers. Uh, two of the katanas were busted where they stood by the slay a combination of the slayers and the hunters. Um, one of the katanas here was wrecked by the intruder swarm that ran up on it. Um, we dropped prowlers there, and we dropped prowlers here. This guy had to play a crazy pilot to land his. Uh, played a jink and weave on the hunters, otherwise I'm sure you all know as well as I, they would not be here right now. But uh, jink and weave kept them in the fight. Um, the rapiers uh, fired down here. Two, two models could fire, both hit, both rolled a six, destroyed these two uh, reapers. The third reaper moved forward. Shot down one of the the ravens and then was destroyed by fire from the, uh, what did destroy that? The savers. the savers. That's right, savers down the length. 
This building took a absolute shelling, lost 21 points. Uh, Desolator knocked eight out, intruders knocked a few out, and the infantry knocked several, several out. Uh, but no objectives found, so at this point still zero to zero. His jets have still not shown up. We'll see if they show up this turn on twos. And uh, we will be back following turn three. Turn three rolls to an end. Uh, the Scourge did find their objective here and take it off the table. Between the infantry and the commander, they were able to bring this building down and destroy it. Uh, the infantry there did activate and roll, but were unsuccessful in finding that objective. Uh, Rapier slid over and knocked out uh, one of the Prowlers, which dropped this turn. And uh, annihilated the infantry here, hit with tons of shots, shooting through that soft and hard cover and destroyed them uh, between that and a few other machine guns. Uh, Prowlers did activate first. Uh, six of them have been slaughtered across the course of the turn, but two of them are still alive. They were able to destroy a Saber and a Katana. Over the course of the rest of the turn, all the Katanas burned, and uh, two of the Saber, or Sabers total went down. The infantry in this building killed the other one. Uh, the UCM infantry did do an end around here and flank this building, get in with me here on top of this objective. Uh, moved up all the rest of our stuff, fired in on this building, did it tons of damage points, killed all but two of the mortarmen. We played a relentless advance on the hunters, which shot up the flank here, and the one that could see hit and destroyed the bear to keep the mortarmen stranded on the table. Uh, rapiers are still in the fight. Um, both Archangels ran. One took an ace in the making, hit twice, and rolled two ones against this intruder B. The other one ran and rolled two ones to hit. So horrible, horrible luck with the air assets. Um, but that is turn three over. Uh, turn four, coming up. Turn four has rolled to an end. Uh, the UCM did lose the Mortarman here to the first round of building demo and decided to go ahead and call it there. Um, with only this objective being a potential and them having to get through CQB first and with just a bear which was about to get jumped by prowlers not very likely um, that they were going to be able to get an objective off so that'll be a 2-0 to zero victory in favor of the Scourge uh, we will have army lists and after action reviews at the blog as always uh, so feel free to follow the link below to that and uh, as always we appreciate the time that you've spent with us today at the Maelstrom